What is going on, Panthers Nation? I am opening up the mailbag and I'm making the mailbag an entire episode. Yes, a entire video clip talking, listening to fans, hearing what y'all have to say. So I'll start it off. This these actually came from YouTube. So usually I, I get mailbag off of X, wherever. Really, it's X or YouTube. But on YouTube, I have one from Michael Anderson eight two one seven. He said, what guys on the roster do you think could be big play guys? Two of the guys that are going to get us those big plays. And I'll tell you what, as you talk about the Carolina Panthers and who they were last year, big plays were not a thing. Big plays didn't happen very often. It felt like it took everything in our power to get 10 yards, like 10 yards on a single play. So I look for that growth to happen this year. When you talk about big play guys, I think a few come to mind. I know right out of the gate we're going to go with Deontay Johnson coming over again from Pittsburgh. He looks like a big play caliber guy for this roster. We saw some of the other guys on here. Mingo. I don't know that I'd say he's due for a breakout year because I feel like that's the cliche thing to say. I think here's your stack at least. I'm putting Deontay Johnson up top. I'd love for Miles Sanders to fall in that category, but I don't think it's realistic. Miles Sanders does feel like more of a home run hitter, although not last year, compared to Chuba Hubbard. I think Chuba Hubbard can be a big play guy, but he doesn't. I don't see him as someone that's going to go out here and and break off a Christian McCaffrey type run or catch pass from 60 yards down the field and score a touchdown. I would say like a Miles Sanders, again, it's more the Eagles Miles Sanders than what we saw last year. This is all assuming he could get there. So now I think you you would have to say Deontay Johnson. And I, I don't know, you know, it depends on how you define big play. I think you could throw in a Tommy Trimble. If you go back and watch some of the highlights from Tommy Trimble last year, very reliable pass catcher in the red zone, good target for Bryce Young. You look for them to to continue to develop. And I think even if you draft a tight end, he's still going to be the number one tight end, at least for now. And maybe that changes going into the year. But I think those are my guys. And, you know, we talk about big plays. You've also got explosive plays and special teams. And I think you could see some things from Amir smith Marset, right? Punt return guy. Also, we saw him getting more involved in some of the jet sweep motion towards the end of the year. You still have Raheem Blackshear, who's going to be your kick returner. And again, as the kick return or kick returns become a thing where we are seeing guys having to return kicks now, that's another one. So like going through the list again, I'd say Deontay Johnson, top of the list. Mm, I think you would probably say Chuba just because he's going to get the touches. Chuba. You maybe have a Miles, Tommy Trimble, you know, Mingo is still to be determined. I didn't talk about Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen, not a big play guy. Very reliable hands. You know, great production. But if you watch him play, he's very good about catching the ball and falling down. Like, I'm not, I'm not even like, I talked about this last year. Just go back and watch him catch the ball, fall down. Catch the ball, fall down. Unless there's just a clear running lane. But I don't blame him. At his age, like, get down. Don't take the unnecessary hits, man. Don't do it. So I think those are the guys. And, you know, I don't have a name listed here. But I think we got to start thinking about, like, whoever this rookie is. Is it a Coleman? Is it a Worthy? Is it a Leggett? Plug in whatever wide receiver. I think we will also be looking to them. I don't know if they'll be off the charts, but that's someone that's going to be top of mind for us. So great question. I like that. Next question from Bryce Young, nine fan said, future at the running back position. Hey, thanks. I, I think I've discussed this quite a few times. Future at the running back position again today. Chuba Hubbard is confirmed as running back one, hitting, hitting hard in the weight room right now. Miles Sanders behind him, who you would hope has a breakout year. Raheem Blackshear is your third back, more of the return returner, again, although he could get some playing time. Practice squad, we have Mike Boone, 
Spencer Brown and Tariq Cohen. Again, some of those guys also fall into the specialist or specialty category as returners. Six guys, that's a lot, right? I'm looking at today, I think Chuba Hubbard, depending on how this year goes, should be back, right? Extend him. Miles Sanders, unless he just knocks the, the, the brakes off of this thing and gets 600, 700 yards or overtakes Chuba, it's hard to imagine right now him being back next year. I wanted to be. I wanted to just go out there and just, you know, run all over everyone. But I kind of put him in that category. And Raheem Blackster is, you know, year to year right now. Again, valuable returner. What we are hearing, though, is that the Panthers are talking and looking at running backs as we go through this mock draft process. A lot of mock drafts, right? Visits, the Brooks, the running back from, which is Texas, the running back out of Florida State. It would not shock me if the Panthers decided to take running back, though, you know, you want to get as many weapons as you can. And if the Panthers front office is looking at this the way I'm looking at this, they're like, well, Raheem may be gone. Practice squad may be gone. Miles Sanders could be gone. And you have Chuba Hubbard who may be here. I mean, he should. I'm saying like if he gets extended. So I think that's the future of the room. And I think you should, like as a fan, you should feel good about this. It's not, never. It, it's going to be very hard to think about Christian McCaffrey or always want to compare whoever is in here to Christian McCaffrey. Same way it is that some people like when compared to a Steve Smith or a Luke Keekley or Julius Peppers, Cam Newton, whatever your player is, like there are certain players that people have in their mind. It's like they're never going to be as good as that guy. You know, I remember the Panthers in their prime with this player. So it's just hard to do, but I think I, I, I feel positive about the direction of the running back room. All right, that's the mailbag, right? There was two. But now, you know what? We get to go out to Reddit. My, my new favorite thing, go out to Reddit. What are other fans saying on Reddit? It's a little easier than going out to Twitter and just getting lost in the chaos. We've got Babowski who posted and said, It's been a brutal start to Tepper's time as an owner, but he finally found his McVay. NFC South title incoming. And it's a picture of Dave Canales. I do feel like he might have we might have struck gold. It's too it's way too early to say it. It's hard for me to imagine in the NFC South title right now as well. Although I think we're closer to being competitive than folks think. It, it's all gonna ride on the shoulders of Bryce. Defense, I'm confident it's gonna figure it out. The offensive pieces around Bryce are gonna be better. There's gonna be improvements. It's all on Bryce Young and his ability. Now, how soon can we compete and win? You still got the Falcons, who I believe are the best team. Tampa Bay, who until you prove that they're going to fall off up there as well. And then New Orleans, who's always up in the air, just like, you know, all these other teams. The way it goes, right? Let's see if we got any other... Yeah, this this is not mailbag, but any folks... Following the UFL. Y'all following that league, right? The new XFL UFL merger. We're seeing Matt Corral playing for the Birmingham Stallions, whatever it is. <laughs> and we also have Corn Elder, former cornerback, returning a pick six touchdown. So yeah, this is this is the offseason news. <laughs> That we have floating around right now. Here we go. Uh, this is a fun question. If we still had our own pick, would you trade down or draft Caleb or another quarterback? This is from Coast Shore Blue. That's a fun topic. It's hard to, you'd have to sit back. I think one, you'd have to assume we don't have a quarterback. Like that's the only way. And my father-in-law, we were talking about this this past weekend that, you know, what if the Panthers had just like let things go and we're in the position now with DJ Moore still on the roster. But 
so I'm going to say if we had the pick that we have to, you know, assume we have our number one overall pick, assume we don't have Bryce Young, you know, we're going to have to assume that we kept Darnold and whatever was here, maybe got in another veteran. So no quarterback, right? Or no clear cut quarterback. I think I would, if I'm in, in their case, and it's a little harder because like the Bears had Justin Fields, but I think if I was in that position, knowing the haul that we got or gave up for Bryce, I would want to trade down. That's my take. I'd be like, I would trade down from that pick. Now, as far as the pick, I'm biased. I mean, you can look right behind me and see the North Carolina sign. I'm going to take I'm always going to take Drake May is is the NFL quarterback. And I know there's Mara Hodge out there saying whoever takes him, like your career is over. But that's my guy. That's who I'm going to take, Drake May. Now, I do have a sleeper. Like if we were really trading back, maybe we go best player available and it's not a quarterback or like the quarterbacks, the, the top quarterbacks, the Daniels, the Knicks, Caleb Williams, May are all off the board further down. I'm looking at a Spencer Rattler. Yep. I've seen enough from him. And I think like pro style wise, I think he could deliver, will deliver. He's a little bit slower compared to some, but you know what he did with kind of a, a banged up South Carolina team and just like being able to persevere through, man, takes a lot to be humbled out there in Oklahoma, decide to switch out, come out to South Carolina like he did and, you know, head down, keep, keep battling along. So I think that's it. All right, folks, I think that's going to be the mailbag for today. Hey, if you have questions you want me to talk about, drop them in the comments or I'll post another mailbag question. Say, hey, let me know what you think and uh, what questions you have and we'll share those. So anyways, that's all I got, folks. Y'all have a good one.